Hello friends and welcome to Free Shiksha. We get a lot of queries from students asking whether they should drop in here to prepare for IIT JE or not. So we uh, came up with this video to help those guys. We'll discuss all the points then that one must consider uh, while making this decision and of course uh, then final decision will be all yours. So these are the uh, two uh, lines of thought in which I have divided uh, this video. One from the point of view of a person who is getting admission into some average college but not into IITs or the tier 1 colleges and uh, the other point of view is from a person who is not getting admission into even an average college. So the pressure points are different and uh, the things that they must keep in mind will also vary uh, depending on their situation. So we will discuss first uh, for the students who are getting admission into uh, some average colleges but not into IITs. So in order to make this decision to drop in here, you must consider uh, what difference will it make if you are not in IITs or if you are in an average college instead. So first is if you are thinking of pursuing higher education from India like MBA, MTech etc. Then it does not matter from which college you are doing uh, the graduation. But if you are considering doing it from some foreign universities and some Indian universities also like SPJAN give weightage to your profile and that's when they consider graduating colleges very seriously. If you wish to hit a job into a top-notch company like Google, Microsoft or Facebook, they usually do not land up in tier 2 or 3 colleges for placement. But apart from these companies, uh, the average colleges do promise you a good placement, especially in IIT, uh, especially in IT field. And if you seriously consider a catch and remain in good rankers of your college, then you have a good chance to get a very good placement even being in an average college. And uh, there are other benefits uh, also of graduating from one of the best colleges of our country. You will have a competitive peer group to study along with. This keeps you pushing yourself harder to deliver your best. You learn a lot of things from people around you than just technical stuff. And good colleges have a good infrastructure also which promotes its students in a lot of other activities apart from just uh, academics like research, projects, sports, culture and uh, business plans etc. Socially also you will uh, definitely see some privileges and reputation being an IITN or being a student from a tier 1 college but ultimately choose your own priorities and goal of life and then make a decision and these are the things that you must keep in mind while making uh, uh, while setting your priorities and for the students who are not getting admission into even an average college then if you are absolutely convinced of doing an engineering then you hardly have a choice you have to drop in here there is no other choice unless you are willing to do it from some college which is present in every street and they fakely boast about their great placement records but ultimately leave you struggling for the rest of your life but you can consider other career options also which are non-engineering domains and uh, certainly you can proceed uh, under these domains too which have a great great scope it's just some career counseling which uh, you will require the second question is that uh, can dropping an year actually help me improve my rank so again uh, two things will uh, play a major role your attitude and potential and uh, some of the facts also I will share with you. So from the stats point of view, approximately 30% of the students who got into IIT JE, uh, who got into IITs in 2013 were droppers and uh, uh, in 2012 this was just 20%. So if you ask me whether droppers get into IITs, of course they do from 30 to 40%. And uh, these are the distributions from various IITs also, which are good in number. And if you personally ask me, I, I converted a 25,000 rank into 1500 rank in AIEEE, a 247 BitSat score to 347 score, uh, no rank in IIT J to a 4500 uh, J rank. So if you can work consistently uh, throughout this year, you can certainly improve your ranks. Uh, a lot and the role your attitude and potential will play is 
going to be a significant one. How do you analyze it? Well, asking the following questions may help you. So first is that how good you have been performing in your school, in your boards etc. Whether you are a good student or not and whether you believe in your study skills a lot or not uh, is something that you should keep in mind. Uh, have you ever seen change in your performance and result by change in attitude? When, when you will uh, have a different attitude this year, do you expect the results to change also will be uh, decided based on the uh, performance improvements that you have seen in earlier years. For example, I was nowhere in uh, first three or first five ranks till ninth class, but uh, then I finally got uh, rank one in tenth. That was just a shift in attitude and uh, I became more sincere then onwards. So if something like that has happened with you, then uh, this, this thing you can consider as a positive point. And uh, do you have the right reasons, priorities and resources to stay motivated for a sincere one year or not. The same thing which I uh, just told you. Right, so what will change during this one year? What are the positives and negatives that you will see uh, during this drop year is something that we'll discuss. And I'll not only discuss the difficulties but also the solutions that can overcome those difficulties. First, it, uh, first is that it gets tough to keep uh, one constantly motivated and follow a strict schedule to stay on track throughout the year and if you think that uh, this is a problem that uh, uh, may uh, arise in front of you you can you, you have a tendency of procrastinating things then uh, this might happen that you end up uh, not studying at all for an entire week and uh, thinking that uh, there is an entire year lying ahead of me I can study later also if you have that kind of attitude then the solution is that you better join a coaching center they keep a strict schedule and uh, uh, a time is there, fixed time, in which uh, they promise you to complete the complete syllabus. And uh, if your syllabus will constantly progress in the classes, then this will force you to match pace with uh, the syllabus. And uh, so that things do not pile up and you do not lose track. Since it's uh, just studies which you will have to uh, dedicate an entire year for, the monotony it brings might demotivate you. So I would suggest you stay involved in other things also, you hang out with friends, relatives, pursue your hobbies, sports etc, but schedule them, like once in a week or one hour a day will do. So these are not time wastage uh, things, these are fuel, uh, they will fuel your brain engine every time it gets drained and uh, with those study pressures etc. Last thing is that a high morale is the most difficult thing to maintain throughout a year and uh, apprehensions will keep on building your mock tests will not go well this will only galvanize the fear of failure but uh, the only solution to this problem is that you analyze your own mental state and then make a decision once you have made the choice then there is no looking back if you can promise this thing to yourself that uh, you are ready to face this and you will not allow these feelings to jeopardize your confidence and aspiration then only you should go for dropping any year right so some positives are also that uh, you're getting a second chance to rectify the mistakes that you made previously you still hold a chance to study in your dream institute and uh, this itself should be a very positive and motivating thing for you you will have absolutely no side pressures like boards or attendance practicals etc it's just uh, the J preparation that you will have to do for an entire year. You can dedicate your entire time as many hours as you want for this purpose. Even if you fail, you can still opt for non-engineering graduation courses which embrace you with the same will as they embrace a fresher at a mere cost of affidavit that you will have to produce for a gap year. And if you could not do good in boards also, then you also have a chance of improving there if you decide to drop. So these are the positive things that you you can think of and uh, the last thing I would like to mention is that there is no right or wrong decision guys. You just take a decision and then prove it right. That's all you have to do. It's a quote by Ratan Tata and it's something that I have followed uh, my entire life and would suggest you guys to follow also. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much. Hope this will help many of you.